Now, Samsung has made some interesting changes inside the gallery application on One UI 8, which not many are talking about. So in this video, let's take a look at them. They are very interesting. But before we go ahead, if you could hit that like button and subscribe button, I would really appreciate that. That motivates me to keep coming up with some cool contents for you guys. And your likes will help this video reach more people. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Now the first thing Samsung has changed is the background effect here on the menu. Now we have got this frosted glass background which looks very nice. And they have added these elements in many other menu options in other applications as well. And on the gallery this is how it looks. And compared to the previous version you can also see these menu options have changed. We have got four buttons on the top, videos, favorites, recents and locations. And we have got capsules here with shared albums, clean out, recycle bin and settings. So it's much more streamlined now and they look beautiful as well. And you can also notice the private album tab which is available right here. This is a brand new feature on the gallery on One UI 8 and we can enable this by going to settings, go to the about gallery, keep tapping on version number multiple times, gallery labs will get enabled and get into the gallery labs, you will see private album toggle right there. This supports private storage to keep image and videos in hidden area. Now we already have album locks inside the gallery application and that will only lock a specific album. But here what happens is you can just select the images that you want to lock and then tap on this more button and tap on move to private album. So this means we can move any images or videos from the pictures tab into private album without any issues. And to access that private album, you have to tap on the menu button and then tap on private album and unlock the phone. You'll be able to access those private photos and images. And these files will not be accessible even on the My Files application, which is pretty important. And in lab section, Samsung has also added an interesting feature called Use AI Zoom, which enhances image while using pinch zoom for smaller images which means if your image is in a very low resolution, when you pinch and zoom in, the image will look slightly better if you have enabled this specific feature. Now there are some interesting changes in the editing panel as well. Now I have opened the same image on both these phones. On the right hand side, it's a Galaxy S25 Ultra on One UI 8 Beta and this is the One UI 7 on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now when I tap on this image, you can see we have got all these editing options. I will tap on pencil icon here. Now you can see there is a change in the layout. On One UI 7, the AI icon is right here, whereas on One UI 8, the AI icon is sitting right here at the bottom left. And here the AI icon will disappear on One UI 7 if you tap on any other editing options here. As you can see, I just tapped on the filters, the AI icon has disappeared. And if I want that AI icon back, I will have to go back here and then again tap on the editing button and then I will be able to see the AI icon here. Whereas here, if I tap on any other item, the AI icon will stay right there, which is very important change. So I don't have to go back again to access this AI icon. I can stay right here. The button is accessible right here on the One UI 8. The next big improvement is when you're editing a photo, you can see the entire photo is visible here on the screen, whereas here, these editing tools take up a lot of space at the bottom on One UI 7. Here it is much more organized. As you can see, we have got this flip option, rotate option and aspect ratio options here on the image here. And then we have got these options here and AI icon is here. Whereas here, we just have this capsule here on which we have got all these tools. We have got flip, rotate, aspect ratio options right here. And we'll have to tap on this to get these options over here. And now the image becomes smaller. Otherwise, the image is larger and we get a clear picture of those changes which are happening on the image. So that's very thoughtfully done. Now let's check out the video editing section. Now while editing videos also, there are some changes which have been made on One UI 8. Let me show you that. Let's tap on edit button here. Again, here you can see we have got the entire video available here on the screen. Whereas on the previous version on One UI 7, it has shrunken here and we have got the slow and fast options right here whereas here we have got a separate button on One UI 8 so in case if you want to play the video and see we can do that right here and we have got this button here you can tap on that to change the speed of the video so basically it is much more streamlined now let's go to studio on One UI 8 and One UI 7 
and I will edit an existing project here. Tap on edit. Now there is a minor change in the way uh, these uh, video clips are depicted here. You can see these icons have changed a bit. It's more rounded here. And when you tap on the transition option, you can see those transitions are here on the top, whereas here we have got all those at the bottom. So that is one change that Samsung has done on the studio. And there are some minor changes which is not worth discussing. So these are some important changes which Samsung has made on Samsung Gallery application, which you might not have noticed on One UI 8. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts, whether you liked all these changes made by Samsung on One UI 8 on the Gallery application, or do you need any further improvements on the Gallery? If you have any suggestions, drop a comment. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I keep sharing some amazing tips and tricks for you guys, some update related videos, new features, tech news, etc. So if you want to learn more about your devices, you need to subscribe to Apex. And of course, if you love the wallpapers that you see here, it's all from a wallpaper application. Volvers, it's our own application and we keep adding loads of wallpapers almost every day. We offer both ad-free version and with ads, you can upgrade it if you want to get rid of the advertisements. I see a lot of people complaining that there are too many ads on the application. Of course, we need to run ads to sustain. We have set the advertisement frequency also very, very low. Every five taps, you will get an advertisement. So that is quite low compared to other applications on the Play Store. So that is the best part about this application. So go ahead, give it a try. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.